it's like they're always transitioning. So it's like they don't have an experience of life and death in the same way that we think we would. You know what I mean? So that this flower is still alive and enjoying every moment of my toddling it, loving it, and is experiencing, you know, happiness right now from the flower. And I can feel it. So it feels like somebody's tickling me, like a giggle. I mean, that's how I experience it and knowing it. That's how I felt with the tulips that day. Was so anyway, that's my flower thing. So what do you think that uh, flowers like about attention? Oh, I don't know. I know what I like about attention. It's probably a mirror for me, because I like to be the center of attention. You know, it's like I'm the center of the universe. You know, I, I, I think if we, you know, just the little prince tells the story of what the rose wanted so was to be the only one. That's uh, very important. So, so I think that, and that's something that I've had a realization about also, that I, I get frustrated and disenchanted with myself when I'm thinking that I'm not like the one, the only one, and it's not enough. But it's important for us in our journey home and to actually come to the connectedness of all that is, is for us to be at one with everyone. And, and, and all that is, and that becomes one. So we can't keep thinking we're special <laughs> and wanting it so much to be the special and to know that we all already are unique and special, but not to be the only one. And that's been a real big one for me. And I think flowers have that same energy of it. You know? It's a mirror for that. And they're so beautiful, right? They're like amazing. So all right, this so, is fun. So do you ever, do you ever, are flowers always just, uh, I guess you could say superficial, laughing and enjoying the pleasantries of life, or do you ever have? Uh, well, beauty is absolutely not superficial. We're talking about true beauty here. We're not talking about it. It's nothing superficial about beauty. And no, flowers are about reminding us of beauty and grace. Ooh, flowers have an important role to the integrity of who we are. Wow. <laughs> Where did that come from? But that's, yeah, that's interesting. Very cool. I love you. All right. Yeah, they like it. I can feel the energy. Say you love it tell you. <laughs> Same thing like with water. You know, we learned that. And, um, you know, Dr. Omoto, yes, absolutely. absolutely, and he told us about it. I say, I love you to water now all the time. So why do you think that um, attention or loving flowers in, helps them? Do you think it helps them grow? Oh, sure. It helps oh, them grow. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's that's a, but that's also you know the law of attraction expectation. That's all about um, you know we're creating it too. So that's you know that's taking back responsibility for we're creating it. So so our loving them and talking to them and 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 and, and, and your attention magnetizes you know, success yeah. more. Yeah. So have you ever? Um, uh, communicated much like uh, conversationally or wisdom wise with uh, flowers? No, not really. I'm ha now I'm going to because I had my new garden, my container garden, which I have on Facebook. Uh, I started it last year as the first garden I ever had. Um, and so I'm starting to work with them and having them tell me what they want and how I can help them to be healthier and, and have a better life. So that's a new relationship for me. But before that, and uh, prior to that, it was kind of like I'm walking in Central Park and the flowers start to talk and laugh. And like in the Rose Garden, I had the experience. And then when we went to that show, it was like specific because I wanted to know what I was walking into. If I was going to feel, you know, uncomfortable because sometimes trees are in a lot of pain. And I, I get that. And I didn't want to do that in me. I was like, but that was like, like main events, those were like main events. Um, 
So I don't really get that kind of conversation now, but I think I'm going to start. And so, have you had much of any uh, communication or interaction with vegetables in this, in this, in this similar way? Or fruits or any kind of edible plants? Well, <laughs> it's funny, I'm getting one now by the vegetable kingdom telling me that I haven't had a good relationship with vegetables and I'm going to get a, have a bad, become a bad, a bad one, come down to ten one. So maybe I'll be growing my own vegetables at some point, I don't know. But right now, apparently, according to the vegetable kingdom energy that I'm feeling, <laughs> it was like a very kind of admonishing feeling of, you know, I haven't been paying attention to my vegetables. So maybe I'll start that. Yeah. I'll come here. Watch the vegetables grow and talk to them here. Here, I get a lot of action from the from the from the whole property. I get action. It's like I, I feel like 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 coming in. I get uh, a hug, and, and when I go to that park that we go to, I feel like I'm being hugged by the whole experience of the trees. And the, it's very cool. So I like that. You know, it's, I feel like I feel like like that's my understanding of, of nature. You know, having that like, and then you know, like dogs talking to me and stuff like that. You were describing that the flowers were singing. Um, do you feel a similar experience, like when you go into a uh, old growth forest? I feel not singing. Necessarily, um, I feel more like um, oh, like, like the most comfortable thing in the world, and an embrace, you know, a loving embrace, and and I know that that it's um, out of gratitude or recognition because it's very. Um, Nature wants to be recognized and acknowledged and appreciated. It thrives on that more than anything. And it's been used and abused rather than appreciated and acknowledged. It's been, um, and, it, and it started out in a way that nature wanted to be in a relationship with us and then got kind of like the American Indians, you know. It's like, oh, this is cool, let's be friends, and then it's like, oh, you want everything. And it, it's kind of like that. But there's no, there's no sense of anger. But there is a sense of, it's like nature has a bitter taste in its mouth right now of us, of our, our nature. And that's coming, that's coming up to be expelled. Ooh, we're being that now. That's the divine cleansing. Yeah. In this way that, um, similar to, I mean, I, I heard Nassim Harmi talk about the way that energy works in the, like, the Ark of the Covenant, that the energy is so strong in a loving way that if you're not in that vibration, all the other vibrations just can't survive. So much as, you know, metaphorically speaking, the light that's so bright that the darkness can 